with regards to what we were just talking about, Rack, I wanted me to talk about my future and my, uh, my plans for my career. And really, uh, really, I've been consciously trying to avoid making any plans. Uh, figuring that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall into what, whatever is natural. I mean, I have a studio, I have all the tools at my disposal now. And uh, I'll be finding people to play with, I, I assume, and you'll uh, be finding songs in the back of my head somewhere. And I'm certainly not going to, like I say, I'm certainly not going to just lie around and do nothing, but I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to avoid preconceiving anything that I'm going to do. Just, just, uh, because I think things will happen more naturally that way. There is a way in which he's pretty inertial, but it has some good side effects. You know, he's so lazy that once he gets going, he's too lazy to stop. And if you can get a little momentum set up, he can really work very well. I've seen him, uh, sit down with his guitar for five hours every morning for two or three weeks straight and, uh, beat out stuff that didn't please him. It sounded pretty good to me. It didn't please him. But he was willing to go on doing it just because he'd started doing it. And if he has the opportunity to really get after it in there, I think he'll really come up with some good stuff. Another thing that, another reason that I built this studio over here is because when I'm either practicing or most particularly when I'm composing and I'm just, I've just got a very sketchy, very hazy idea of what I'm going after. Uh, it's really rough to listen to it. It sounds you know, it sounds awful. And I can't stand for anybody to hear that when I'm doing it. So I have to build a huge soundproof room that I can go into and entomb myself and make sure that I'm not within earshot of any other human ears. And uh and know that I'm not offending anybody, and then I can just hammer and thrash and beat away until it starts to take shape. And uh I never really had that since, oh, for the last 10 years, except for when I'm sitting home alone, pe people are gone somewhere else. That's when I do most of my writing. Well, now I'll have that situation made to order at any time. And uh, I expect I'll be doing a lot more composing. I don't really think in the long run that, that the pressure of the star maker machinery is, uh, is going to cause people to come up with superlative product, great music, or, you know, great works of any sort, really. Um, I said earlier that I create best when I have a gun held to my head, but, but I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure that, uh, that that's, that's what, I, that what I've done under those pres pressure circumstances. I'm not sure that that's going to stand the test of time so much as, as things that just naturally occurred, naturally flowed from me. That's true. When you think about Mexicali blues or Cassidy, right. those were things that naturally evolved. And you get get the black-throated wind, right. which is a particular dog, and that happened uh, in the middle of a blizzard uh, with the aid of a lot of pressure which probably was unnecessary, but it seemed important at the time. And uh, what I'm concerned with most right now is, uh, is coming up with something that's good. Uh, I guess I'm relatively comfortable and well seen who I can continue to live without having to bend too much pressure now. The only thing that really concerns me is, is uh, is coming up with something that's good. I guess uh, I guess I could say that I want to be remembered by posterity as a great composer, a great musician, or something like that. But I guess more than that, really, I just I just want to be somewhat satisfied with what with what I'm doing. I, I feel good when we're having a good night, singing and playing well. That's a wonderful feeling. But but I want to I want to be able to feel as though I've actually added to and and really enhanced the course of uh, musical development, at least in this century. And uh, I'm kind of glad that those thoughts are starting to pop through my head while I'm still young, because I still have time to work on on, on being that guy, being that, that kind of uh, musician.
kind of wish you'd loosen up on that. It's hard enough trying to match the quality of Garcia without having to match the quality of Stravinsky as well. Well, I don't imagine that I'll ever be satisfied. I don't think that's the nature of this beast or any of my friends either, but... But I've, uh... I got some big ideas, I guess. And hopefully I'll be able to, uh... Some, some, some small way manage some of those uh, fantasies with uh, reality. When I write a tune, I produce it. Too, and it's uh, what I say goes, and it's, it's up to me to make to make it happen. And that that kind of space has been provided. I'm not starting afresh. I've I've been involved in, in making things happen, and bringing music to life for for years now. Well, I guess what I'm going to do next year. I'm going to have about a year's sabbatical leave as, as we currently uh, as we currently foresee it is to try to try to start working on focus focusing my energy into a particular aspect of music that being recording or maybe throwing together a group and really focusing my ability to to direct and make things happen to bring to bring music to life through one form or another. And, uh, and I really, I guess I really have to learn to concentrate on, on one thing or another and, and make it happen. Things have been happening pretty much for me for the last few years, and, and I think it's my charge right now to, uh, to learn to develop the ability to make things happen of, of my own accord. That's the other edge of that, that older brother sort where uh, not only is your light hit under the bushel of all that talent, but you can assume that that talent is going to take up your slack for you a little bit. And it's kind of unfortunate because sometimes what you've done is really valid in and of itself. And if, the, if just a little bit of slack gets taken up, you start thinking that, well, maybe I didn't do it at all. <laughs> but I, I guess I just want to get better at it. I want to learn my own par parameters, what horizons I'm going to have to start chiseling away at, broadening and expanding. Well, it, it had... Oh, that was unanimous. It was unanimous. Uh, I, I've forgotten who came up with the idea originally. It might have been Danny Rifkin for that matter, but uh, after a particularly grinding tour, uh, which had come on the heels of uh, three relatively grinding tours. And it's not that the music wasn't bad, the music, or the, it's not that the music was bad, the music was real good. But just uh, the airports and the hotels and everything, everybody was real down and we were having a general meeting. And, and the idea of, uh, why don't we hang this up for a while and, uh, and, and take some of the pressure off, I'm getting old. I feel like I'm getting old. It was essentially the, the sentiment that was expressed. And uh, and everybody just clamored, and uh, it seemed just like the thing to do. I, I think that what we're doing is, uh, is real healthy for us. We're taking the pressure off. I think we'll all live a lot longer now and a lot fuller.